Hello, YouTubers. This is Flushy Mouse in the Evil Witch Doctor here, and we will be reviewing the Hero Factory 3.0 collection. Yes, this is every single one of them. Some of them have mods. Yeah, basically all the big sets have mods of some kind. To make Especially Rokax, Al, and Witch Doctor. Especially those two. But now let's get started. Um, I'm gonna start off my least favorite of these, and that has to go to Little Ferno right here. He's evil. Um, I like that he has no lower leg armor, but I really wish he could either had silver feet or silver lower leg armor. Yeah, in the arrow. Was... I think that could have been silver. Yeah. I really think it should have. And that little red armor really just kills it. And the wings, they could have been redone. They. Really... The mask is probably the best. The mask is cool. But it does have some flaws. And has a name tag, the new name tags. Yeah, trans green. I like that. Um, uh, I don't know. This is debatable. I think there's better ones than Bulk. I think Bulk would have to go after Ferno. He is pretty scary. I mean, he is good, but for Bulk, this is, I think Bulk and Stringer really should have been switched around, probably. He's like a wolf. He's little. He's a skimp. And, they and these the are guy. really annoying. They always fall off. It's psych. Yeah. I had to put the classic ones on. just for the nut And look, you have to stick it up this much just to make the blade stick out straight. Yeah. And the orange core is very nice. The mask is really cool with the teeth and the eyes. Kind of looks like stairs. Right I don't there. think the orange head really fits suits this guy. I mean, it would have been. It would be better if he was turquoise like the core in the, um, the first movie. So... Um, he's after nice. yeah, he is. He's okay. After that, regardless of me, like I don't know which one. I'm gambling between Nex and Stringer. Honestly, I think it's Roka. I like Roka though. He has to be my second favorite, though. But every everyone has different opinions. Roka. My only complaint with him is the colors. Uh, and the big mask. <laughs> the mask. It's bigger than Nitro um, Glass. Well, let's just say. He can't turn his head one bit. His neck is sunken into his body. He has the same problem Ferno has with his head. Um, he the white core out. is extra, is one of the most useful core of them. And <sighs> look how much space that is. And the mask it's loose. Like it'll it'll flop up. It's disgusting. That's the problem. And with the it. claws fall off a lot. They fall off constantly. But and I do not like how this is tannish gold. C3 Pluto. Unlike this guy, it actually has a dark gold. Um, well, he has to be my second or third favorite. I do, I will say, which one should we go over next? Next. next I like me. next, but I think that he's awfully bland. I mean, I don't, I mean, he's good. I love the silver. The silver, they did pretty good on it. I'll be honest, though. I think they should switch this around. I think they should have silver lower ones and orange upper ones. I think that's how they were going to do it. Yeah. yeah but, and the fangs are pretty long. It's kind of annoying. I wish it was like in the movie when they were short but sharp. I mean, Lego has this, have something against sharp objects that can, can't even puncture your skin. Yeah. Let's go over Stringer next. It, but Stringer... My, the first one I bought, it, it was a factory default. Like, it's black, was dull and nasty looking. It was disgusting. And it's claws, they pop off constantly. But this little tumor arm, I know why they did it. The ball joint of this, compared to the hand, they equal. But this small arm makes this one look, like, gigantic. I do like that. I mean, this arm, oh, look, see what I mean? The claw just popped off randomly. Uh, I think that's enough with Stringer, but the color scheme's perfect. And I like the bear. It's, like, really nice. Yeah, his claw popped off and I'm too lazy to put it back on. Yep. Stormer, definitely the my favorite. Of of every line, Stormer must fall. Unlike the next line, which sucks. Yeah. Um, Stormer's weapon, I like it. I like that it has spikes and whatnot on it. Um, I like uh, his armor placements. Besides this, this one is pretty questionable. This one facing downwards. And the helmet has to be very cool. It's really bulky. I really wish it was sharp though, and it didn't have the beard. Yeah, and it's it's a lot it's a lot bulkier. Unlike because the last Stormer was all skinny and pajamas. This yeah, one I like pajama looking pants. Is is really strong. Um, I like his name tag. Has to be my favorite. Yeah, it looks like an eagle right here on the name tag. It's kind of like a yeah, like it's like a, an eagle wing and whatnot. Yeah, it looks better from farther away. But. I love it's a rhino, because that's one of my favorite animals. Alright, I think I should go over Fang's neck. Actually, no, let's save the worst for last of the, of the little guys. Raja, I don't know which one's better, Raja or, or Waspix. I kind of like Raja more. 
But Raja is very detailed on the this. I mean, it looks really cool. How it has I just got one complaint about Raja. The tail is bad, and I had and I added this to it because it was hollow up there. And the jaw, I oh, his mask pops off constantly too. I like the silver eyes on it. That's yeah, nice. I mean it has eyes, unlike the other guys. Uh, I think that's enough for Rawjaw. And um, Wasp. But Rawjaw, he is very detailed, Wait. and he has those evil claws that make him evil and yes. freakishly Waspic. weird tail. Yes. Mammoth guy, elephant mammoth. I think it's a gorilla elephant. Waspix. I had to add those little sections right there because I think the wings are pretty, pretty skimpy. The legs are basic. This figure is just generically bland, but I like it. And one complaint is the back of it. Definitely the back. It's, it's like hollow. It is cool that they have these pieces. Terran's yellow. I mean, I never thought I would see these pieces again, but, you know, they're back. And it has Benton claws. Yes, I love those pieces. Yeah, they're really cool on Do it. Do you have anything to add for Waspix, or no? Yeah, he's very detailed with scale. He does look like a wa Well, he looks nothing like a wasp, but he is really cool. Yeah. I really got to talk about fangs. Because we're dying to talk about him. Yeah. Fangs, he has a gray ball inside his mouth. Oh, digger. Yeah, the poop tickler, Jim Law Productions joke. <laughs> the name tags are cool looking, I guess. And I, I think they could have had a black one in there, a black limb. I mean, I know Batman's gonna have one, but that's just random. But, I mean, this is the only color, this mask is the only, this color is only on the mask. It's The colors yeah. are very bad. I'm surprised I was the only person to notice this. I mean, like, uh, the only piece on this that's Pearl Dark Gray is his head. I mean, this could have been Pearl Dark Gray. That would have introduced a new piece. They could have made that even in Pearl Dark Gray. That wouldn't be new, but maybe even a blade in Pearl Dark Gray. And these spikes, I have to say, was the best part about the set. My only con is I really wish there was a way to attach it into the one in front of it. I really wish there was a way. Yeah. But it is nice. It does look like a dog, though. A big, weird dog. Yeah, Scorpio. Um, I like Scorpio. I had to do a couple mods. I moved the head up a bit. Let's just keep him right here. I moved up the head a bit. With I moved it up here. Um, I low I moved this thing down there. He has tons of detail. Tons. Yeah, I know that. I know that. Um, he has silver ones. I just thought the pearl dark gray one looked better. Chameleon paint. I'm a really big fan of the color, the yellow changing the lime green. I'm a really big fan of that. And he has these ferno wings, so it does look nice. As yeah, and they semi, they somewhat pinch. And the gun is like, like jet bugs. It, but it's very detailed. It's like has tons of armor. It's very strong. In the movie Savage Planet, he was really cool. He was amazing in Savage Planet. Yeah, and he also I like that. That was very the nice. bolt gauntlets. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's a bit all for Scorpio. Yeah. Now let's start going over my least favorites. <sighs> let's save him for last. Yes, but this guy, honestly, I like him. But I don't. I mean, he did a couple of mods. I did a lot of mod, a couple of mods. I added armor right here. I fixed his head. I added that ball because it was hollow back there. And cool. These spikes are like... Yeah, the back of it. <sighs> he, he's like on a diet or something like that. And look in the middle. There's a hole in it. And and look at it from the bottom. But honestly, the mask is very nice. And uh, the mask he added is a mod. detailed. He had to add a mod. He had, that a he had his like, first video. Yeah, one of my first on and my new staff channel. And the like pussy staff or something like that. It, I had to change it to black. His dark gray just looked random. But it does look really cool with staff, but it's very small. I wish it could have been large. I think he could have had black technique because they make these pieces in black and they make almost every piece that's gray on here in black. Here's the best part about the set. The legs. The legs I like. I really They're do. They're very detailed. They're really cool. One of the best legs at Bionicle and here. Factory. I think it looks better with the red tubes. Oh, uh, yeah. I guarantee someone's got to say redtube.com. I guarantee it. But um, these are just... Uh, they just look bland and white. But I think it's time for Roka. I had to revamp this a ton, but nothing could fix this set from being bad. It did have a cool gold launcher on it, I think. It had a, it had a gold ball that didn't have a gold launcher. And look, he's even had to probably stand him up because he's so bad. And in the movie, he stunk. He he, he, he couldn't battle at all. I know. I took off his Stormer printing. saved him. I took off his printing. I don't know why. But um, as you see, I revamped his claws so they stopped falling off. And, and they still fall off. I know, because it's, there, there's no way to fix these without glue. Not even glue fixes them. I mean, 
I mean, it's very cheesy, but I, it looks awesome. But I it's fixed very this. Cheesy. It doesn't wobble. It doesn't wobble. In the neck, it's like. Oh uh, god. Nothing cool. But the back does look like. I we, fixed it. It was completely white back here. But yeah. The arms, I fixed them too. They can move backwards now. But I like how it looks like an explosion right there. But, yeah, I like the spike. This the look of it. But he doesn't. Ha I wish he had gold oh, hands. Yeah, nothing could fix this. In the movie, he had gold hands, but this set, I know that there's no way to make it look the same. With, fix it with it with it looking the same. This set is just hard to work on. The com and also the calm walls in this line are are all bad except for the Stormer and Rocket one. That one looks okay. It looks decent. Yeah. Overall, I think Sag Planet definitely not as good as it's the last the review two, we made. As the 2.0s, definitely not as good. But Stormer is better in the 2.0. Stormer is better. I like the Stormer. Yeah. I think that's about it. I mean, I, we yeah. Just don't buy Roka XL. Buy Scorpio. Maybe Witch Doctor. Maybe. Buy Rawjaw. He's very detailed. Buy Rawjaw. This he's is cool. Fang. Well, this Rawjaw is, is detailed. Rajo's as detailed as he could get for a Hero Factory because Hero Factories have no detail whatsoever. I know. But that's about it. So. Please like, comment, and subscribe.